Hey everybody, Woo, my paper's blown around. It's Jill Kay, functional nutritionist and owner of Down to Earth Wellness. Um, if we haven't met yet, I work a lot with outdoorsy women who are dealing with burnout and who want to have more energy, um, more calmness, and more energy to get out there and do the adventures that they want to do. So I'm going to do a quick video for you today. Um, first of all, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below if you're new here, or if you've been hanging around, let me know your name, where you're from, and I would love to hear from you and connect with you. Um, and today you're going to learn three simple diet changes you can make to help you improve your energy. So are you ready? Let's get rolling. I have my little piece of paper to keep me organized. Um, and again, I'm filming this from my lovely uh, little log I'm sitting on in Costa Rica. I was just out for a, a sunset walk. So I have to hurry up before it gets dark. Um, and I'm kind of uh, sweaty because I did half my walk and then I have to walk back. So hopefully I don't look too sweaty on this video. All right, so here we go. Uh, like Adam Sandler says in the wedding, what's that movie, The Wedding Crashers? It's about money though, but he, the guy says, what do you know about money? He's like, I have some, I like it. I know I want more of it. I was gonna say the same thing about energy. I have some, I like it, I want some more of it. Maybe you can relate. So again, I take the holistic approach. So we really look, focus on diet, lifestyle, mindset, and smart supplementation. The whole thing really needs to be looked at. But when it comes to your diet, here are three tips you can implement right away that are, I guarantee are gonna start improving your energy. Um, side note, always dig deep, work with someone. If you're really dealing with fatigue and burnout, of course, we need to dig deep and um, look at everything that's going on through a health assessment, symptomology, and testing if necessary. So three major things you could do and implement these gradually is the first one is have a protein rich breakfast. I'm talking 20 grams of protein at breakfast, put some healthy fats in your breakfast. That's really gonna help to boost your energy and actually balance your blood sugar and insulin levels first thing in the morning because um, overnight, you know, your cortisol starts to increase in the morning to wake you up and we want to quickly balance that out and balance your insulin so it's kind of more balanced, not a roller coaster throughout the day. So how um, well balanced your blood sugars in the morning can dictate, you know, your cravings later on in the day, your energy. So that's tip number one. Really start um, having a really nice wholesome breakfast with some protein. 20 grams is usually sufficient. If you like smoothies, chia parfaits, um, a gluten-free oatmeal, put some almonds on it, put some Brazil nuts, put some nuts and seeds in there, um, some protein powder in your smoothie. Just get that protein in there. Um, tw 20 grams is pretty good and see how you feel. Start paying attention to how you feel. The next big thing you can do to really support your energy is um, actually reduce sugar. So this day and age, people eat a lot of sugar, way too much. Uh, it's in everything. Sometimes you don't, you, know, you don't even expect it to be in something. And it's in there like crackers or something. You know, ketchup, mustard, it's in there. And when something says low fat, don't waste your time with it because usually they'll lower the fat and increase the sugar and fat is not bad. Um, it's really the processed sugar we need to lower. Uh, sugar can really, again, cause that roller coaster blood sugar effect, will, which will zap your energy. It will increase your cravings. It will increase your cortisol and your stress hormones because when your blood sugar crashes, your insulin um, has to help it out. And then cortisol helps as well and increases to bring your blood sugar back up. So it causes a lot of downstream issues. Um, it will mess with your hormones. It actually contributes to increasing estrogen levels. Um, and it also suppresses immune system function. So it's, it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> and it's very freaking addictive. So my tips are start choosing healthier options for sugar. Maple syrup, honey, um, dates, monk fruit sweetener. Uh, what's the other one? Stevia. I don't like stevia, but if you like it, that is great. Um, those are really nice options. And start getting away from the processed sugars, the McFlurries, the Starbucks Frappa Crappuccinos. I've had them before too. They're good. And I tell you what, it is, it's addictive shit. <laughs> Same with hot chocolate. That's my uh, Achilles heel. I love hot chocolate. And when you live in the Arctic, you want something warm every day, but it is sugar. So if you can start reducing your sugar, your energy is going to be so thankful. You're going to notice some changes, gradually reduce it. If it's really, you know, hard to reduce, make healthy swaps with those healthier alternatives. Cause those, um, those are still sugar, maple syrup, dates, honey, but they have other health properties and they're more natural. Um, so yes, reduce and swap out. 
Um, that's the second tip. The third tip, I might have some haters, but whatever, sorry, not sorry, um, is lower coffee intake. Uh, depending on how much you're having every day, if you're having one coffee a day, three coffees a day, 17 coffees a day, don't matter. I would reduce it, maybe three max a week. If you're dealing with extreme burnout, the coffee's got to go. Um, gradually reduce your coffee. You can you know, titrate the doses down with coffee. You don't have to go cold turkey or you will get headaches and feel like crap. But you know, if you're having three cups a day, cut it down to two and a half, have some green tea, have some decaf, then do two cups a day, etc., etc. But coffee is really, really connected to zapping your energy. It increases your blood sugar, then your blood sugar is all over the map, crashing, going up and down, which zaps your energy. It taxes your nervous system and your adrenals because it's constantly stimulating them to step up and wake up when really they might be tired. And it's this false kick in the pants to your adrenals. So that's not so good for your nervous system. It can make you feel frazzled and fried and contribute to that adrenal uh, fatigue, quote unquote, it's not really fatigue, but adrenal burnout. Um, and the other thing too is coffee can also increase anxiety, very known to increase anxiety. Um, it can also mess with your hormones, your estrogen levels too. So I really suggest if you feel great and your energy is moderate, um, you're having multiple coffees a day, I would reduce it to three cups a week. And if you're dealing with lots of burnout, then ditch the coffee. But some options are matcha lattes, delicious, less caffeine, other health benefits with matcha, uh, dandelion um, tea, you can make it into a latte, has a very earthy flavor, lots of people love it and it's very good for your liver, which again will support your detoxification and energy levels. And the other one is mushroom coffee or mushroom tea. Make it into a latte, it's delicious. Um, chaga, reishi, lion's mane, cordyceps. You can get four sigmatic um, little pouches of coffee mushroom powder. It's delicious. And put a little bit of honey in there, some uh, oat milk, hemp milk, whatever. And mushrooms are amazing too because you're not gonna get that huge hit of caffeine, but mushrooms will actually support your immune system. They're immune system modulators, so they'll speed up or slow down your immune system depending what it needs. If it's an overdrive or if it's you know, needing some love, it actually modulates your immune system. So those are my three tips. Protein-rich breakfast, um, reducing your sugar gradually, healthier swaps, and ditching the coffee or lowering your coffee. Those three things are really going to help your energy. So let me know uh, which one are you going to implement. Share below, comment below. And if you would like some support, if you want to dig deeper into your energy levels um, and how things are going, we can always uh, you know, explore things deeper. I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching deep dive program, a three-month program where we do a Dutch test, we do some deep, uh, deep assessments to explore where your energy might need some support. So feel free to book a discovery call. The link is in my bio on Instagram. Um, yeah, let, or just shoot me a DM, I'm happy to chat. Anyway, I hope these tips helped you. And now it's really getting dark. So I guess I'll be on my way and finish my walk. I'll talk to you soon.